Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair. And this time I've yeah, I think about it a long time um, to fully disassemble a Mamiya Sequo uh, 127 millimeter and it's a 3.8 for the Mamiya RB. <coughs> And uh, it's simply because there are some oil on the plates, you, which you maybe can see in here. I know it's difficult. <clears throat> but also because there was one pin in the shutter, uh, I mean, on uh, the shutter ring actor. I mean, the ring that activates the, the plates. And uh, one pin was popped off, I mean, broken off. I will show you sooner. <clears throat> now, let's get into it. And we need some tools. <clears throat> we need at least a good tweezer, pointy one, and a JIS screwdriver. <clears throat> this is from Moody Tools, uh, <clears throat> which I buy at uh, ifixit.com, a set of four, which is really good. <clears throat> The famous uh, rubber cone from Japan Hobby Tool, another gasket from uh, the plumbing uh, section in the hardware store. This is a dimension of, I would guess, something like 40 and 30. Uh, you probably can see the number here, <clears throat> um, which is really sticky, and for one reason is to actually unscrew the back lens screw. <clears throat> now, a good uh, flathead screwdriver, nothing special. And maybe we'll, we will need some uh, dentist tool. <clears throat> I will go through the whole lens in uh, some <clears throat> series of videos. Uh, this would not, I will not fully disassemble it in one video but uh, we'll go through the uh, the whole section of uh, what's inside here <clears throat> now to get into it we need to take off the back lens group which I will do with the uh, Robert gasket here and it it simply fits on it and simply press and it should be possible hmm. Well, we can also use the rubber cone to have a good and a better grip and a mix of it, which is sometimes good. So, there. <clears throat> and then it's off. <clears throat> you can see it fits really good here. So, I mean, it's not a new lens. <laughs> But who said that? It's not so. All for that. And now we uh, also just can take off the uh, retaining ring that hold the um, the lens uh, assembly into the back here. <clears throat> and for that, I actually made a tool. You can see in another video. This is uh, made for the. RB and R set 67 um, lenses, which is actually a hole saw which I cut away all almost except two, and uh, with a grinder simply and a file uh, simply cut so there are two pins left which actually fit in here. And I also add some tape to not make scratch inside here. <coughs> So, and then it can sit extremely tight. Of course, this did not, because I have been into the lens and set a lot of marks and <clears throat> uh, whatever. So I actually know what uh, I'm going into. That was it. And uh, then we can unscrew the uh, front uh, name ring. And for that we can also use the famous hop tool here and simply 
unscrew it. It can sometimes be really, really bad if if you press too much on the front ring here and simply uh, press the the front name ring here a little. You push it one uh, thread and it can be really difficult to get out. So the only thing to do is, I mean, you could drill two holes in here and use a uh, spinner to unscrew it, but hmm, it's not the case here. Now here we're looking into the front lens group and for that I will use a, uh, not a rubber tool because there are two rings here and the uh, first one will probably loosen and uh, then, yeah, <laughs> then you still need to come into the whole group. I mean, there are two notches here. There's one in here. You probably can see there. And another one over here. And for that, I will use a huge uh, <laughs> compass, which is quite big. <clears throat> but the legs are bended a little. So it can actually come in here. And I always already adjust it to fit. And simply put them in here. And have a good grip on it. And then unscrew it. And for that we can also use the rubber tool here. <clears throat> or maybe we can use this one. Hmm. Yeah, it's also good. <clears throat> it will make it a little easier. So, out with that. That's it. Nothing special about that. I will not come into that. <clears throat> so now, we are actually going to take off the ring here. I don't know what the name is. Depot Field ring or so. And so oh, it's just a cone. Uh, yeah. Here we see four screws. There, 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 there. And um, it's good to set a mark somewhere. There is a small pin up here. I mean, kind of piece of brass or so. But just so you not get confused about where you are when you put it back in again. Just set a simple scratch here. And also in line with the uh, with the index mark here. It will just in if you get confused <coughs> um, it will be easier to put it back in. Now use a JIS screwdriver because this is a uh, Japanese lens. <clears throat> I mean you can if you do not have anything else you can use a pH zero screw. I know it's difficult to see um, because it's actually fit really good in here. Uh, sometimes it fits okay. I mean you can file a little of the tip so it fits better. <clears throat> Just an idea. But some screws can sit really tight so it's better to have the real screwdriver. So there. And that's it. Put it aside somewhere where you can catch it. And now <clears throat> take off this ring here. There's nothing really special <clears throat> about it. Um, just four screws. <laughs> and then <clears throat> the the uh, exposure ring. Uh, I set a mark here somewhere. Actually here. This mark will be very important as soon as you go deeper into the lens. Um, 
So we can just take off this ring, nothing special. And now we're looking into the, um, I mean, <clears throat> this is the aperture ring. And there are also four screws. No, actually three, sorry. <laughs> and I set a mark here uh, just to make things easier. Do not unscrew this if it's not necessary. <clears throat> And there are three screws here. And and the last one here. Now it comes free. You see is in two parts and uh, here we have the uh, the little steel ball that go onto the notches here that makes a click do not miss it <coughs> but just keep them together and uh, so you know where it is <coughs> and now <coughs> something more we need to take out the uh, flash sync uh, connection with two screws. And remember how it's facing when you, before you take it out. You could uh, just set a little mark here, which we also will do here. I know how it should facing, but just in case you um, you miss it just set a mark here so you know where how it should the orientation is because it's uh, not <coughs> I mean it can only sit in one correct position the screws are here small and now look how it looks I mean Oh, it's facing. It should sit like this. It will say um, something like that. If you try to set it like this, you will not get the connection into here because it's, it's off the center. This is why this should sit like this. Now, so we are, there's one important thing set the mirror up um, lever or what it calls to mirror up so it stays there that's important before we take it apart so now if I know when I unscrew three screws it will say um, one here there and the last one is here those three screws <coughs> is actually holding the whole um, shutter assembly into the housing, <coughs> the back housing. And before we do anything, remember the lens has, I mean the shutter has to be uh, relaxed. So it should, it, should, it should not go onto the red and green, I mean the red here. It should just be relaxed. <clears throat> so, I mean, there is no need to unscrew them fully, just loosen them a little. So there, just a few turns. <clears throat> so, now the shutter assembly is actually loose here because I took out the re uh, retaining ring and when I lift up the um, shutter housing here, take it that way, you should do it with the, with the front here facing down. Because there are three spaces, maybe there are only two in your lens, it depends. But one can actually just push on the inside and then we'll lift it up. 
so it looks like this. Now, that's it. I set a small mark in here, um, so I know where things should sit. I mean, uh, what they, how they should align when I put things back in again. It's a good thing to know because I mean this is the top here and uh, it should also be the the top here when we put things back in again. Um, I mean the two notches here goes actually on the two pins here it will say this one and this one. So when I move the I mean, cock the shutter, I will uh, move the parts in here. So, <clears throat> that's it. And now we're actually looking into the... Oh, <laughs> I should have mentioned that. There are two or three or maybe more spacers in here. It doesn't matter how it sit, uh, the orientation like this, but keep the thinnest in between if there are too thick because uh, it will protect the inner I mean the thinnest one a little now <clears throat> and I also just set a small mark here um, just in case I mean it's just to show you how you could do So that's it and keep them some safe place. This is the M and X um, lever and it should of course sit here, something like that and you can switch between M and X. So that's it. Now, now we are going to take apart some of the um, of the actual housing here around, and uh, there are some things to be aware of. <clears throat> uh, yeah, there's one thing that should should make it easier for you. Uh, when you assemble the lens again, just to so you not get confused of where should things be aligned. Here, I set a mark and a an half arrow and also a half arrow here. So I'm really sure this should sit like that, just so you not get confused. The the shutter cocking uh, mechanism here. Uh, should sit on the uh, when we look at the lens from the front it should sit on the left side so you can actually cock the shutter by doing so um, there are a kind of a blade spring here it should also sit in that position so it's good to actually make a small, what do you say, an arrow here. I know it's difficult to see. Make an arrow here on the plate and also here, so you know where it should sit. And we can just take that apart. So, and there are three more screws. <coughs> There's one here, next to the the half arrow here, <laughs> and there's no need for taking off this uh, part here with the spring and also, we can just take it off here, I mean if it's not necessary, there's no need to do it. So we can just take the one screw here, and another one under the plastic here which we 
can see this to the left. So, I have to sometimes show. So it should be that screw here. So now, when those three screws are out, we actually going, I mean, I can take this part off here and uh, then we are into the shutter assembly. So, and one thing is important because the arrow I set in the beginning here for the um, for the exposure, um, the pin has to sit there. So, uh, because then it's actually much easier to take out the shutter because of if you see like this, something like that, and had a bit. Uh, so you lift up this side here and the plastic pin, the plastic uh, thingy here, depth of field, uh, comes off and then you see this hole <coughs> here. This hole here is actually where there is a tiny pin. I will say this pin here. Uh, that's actually sit between the two uh, ends of this. So that was it, part of it. So now we actually looking straight into the shutter. And uh, in next part I will actually disassemble the shutter itself. Um, all the parts we can see in here. Um, so I will dig deeper into it.